So... I'm just waiting for my recording... Okay, my recording software took a while. Uh, so, Dungeon 8 in the LADX Rando Dungeon Guide. So, you'll notice I'm actually starting from one of the back entrances, which is possible in the Rando. So, if you start here, you want to clear this sort of top area as quick as possible, and I'll show you, I'll show you how to get some of these chests um, later on. But right now, I'm just going to show you the way from this entrance, and it's probably quicker than save and quit. So if you want to get to the left side chests from there quickly, you basically go this way, and that's it. So, you can also save and quit from there, and be at the entrance. So, I'm not going to waste time with fires, I'm just going to fire rod, that's the quickest way. So, you basically you basically always want to go left straight off once you find D8. Because there's three chests here that you can get easily. Oh, that's despawned. <laughs> oh no, oh no, that's uh, that's going to be interesting. Okay, you're, you're going to see me do some shenanigans. So there's, there's a chest in this room normally. Which you do by doing the puzzle. Okay, so yeah. Um, so if you don't have feather for this room, or hookshot, like remember you can hookshot this chest. If you don't have feather, uh, I usually just go down here and do a villa skip thing, even without mushroom, because. It's the same thing you do in Dungeon 1 to get to the mini-boss. And I think it's worth doing because you don't then have to backtrack to this chest. So, once you have this chest, you go here, you do rolling bones. By the way, the hook shot, if you press it whilst the thing's rolling towards you, you can actually avoid damage off it. Okay, I'll actually kill him now. So... Now, only if you have Fire Rod, and only if you have Fire Rod, you go up here, and you kill the Vire quickly, and you get a free key. Only do that if you have the Fire Rod. It's not worth doing if you're not going to kill that Vire quickly. Then, there's a chest down here. Also, that, that allows you to skip a key later. This dungeon, Glitchless, is really a pain in the ass because there's so much backtracking you have to do. I'm, I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to explain anything Glitchless. So, once you've done this, you need you need Feather at this point. You can do it without Feather. Um, also, you can get a chest down here with just Bracelet. Um, you can get this chest just having bracelet coming from from the left. But yeah, if you have further, I advise it doing it this way because it's just quicker. So then, also the room I was just in has a key. So can I? Land a hit on this smasher. So there's... There's a chest down here. I usually save and quit off it. Uh, quite, I have seen the boss key in that an embarrassing amount of times. So... There is one particular chest in this dungeon that takes so long because you have to backtrack after it. And that is the Blano chest. I always leave that for last and there's a reason for that. If you leave it last and you're missing the stone beak, the map or the compass, there is no reason to have to check that 
chest because you know it's going to be a useless item because that's those items have to be in every every rando. So, if why if you wanted to do Blano for whatever reason, this would be where you bomb trigger the wall here up here. Um, I only have one bomb, so. Actually, actually, no, I'm not going to use on the other side. So, basically, you can bookshot. I usually just do that. Um, yeah, make sure you have the key if you don't bookshot. I usually just lava swim in this dungeon, regardless of what category I'm using, I'm doing. Um, that's definitely the quickest rando method, is to lava swim. So, oh yeah, there's a key in there's a key in here, a key in there. Um, get those. Then you go into this room, and there's actually only three chests left in this dungeon, excluding Blano. So, yeah, you deal with that. You do a super jump there. To get here normally, you'd have to go in the underground section, which makes this dungeon really slow glitchless. So, you do this room. This is one of the slower chests in the dungeon, but it's still, it's still quick enough to be worth it. I don't, I don't think this one is bad enough to gamble on nothing being there. That was spectacular. I fell in slow motion there. So, now you go up here. Uh, the virus respawned because it fell in lava, or it, yeah, it fell in lava. So, yeah. If you didn't come out that entrance, remember to check that entrance, because that could be an entrance something. So, on here, I usually do a lava swim here. Now, here, now, this room, obviously you need the, the hook shot, but you, you can actually do this. Which, I love, I love that this is a thing. Oh, I'm bad. Okay, so you can Jesus jump down into that bottom wall and do a super jump. So that's uh, that's really nice. Now, if you do it that way, uh, you're gonna wanna fall into the lava to get back to where you were. Um, now, in the rando, you actually have a way up here. There's actually a key in this room, and you can access that entrance. But uh, debug rom, yeah. So I usually love a swim back here. And then the final thing to get to the boss. Jesus jump, super jump. Done. So yeah. Uh that has been my LADX Rando dungeon guide. I hope it wasn't too unbearable to watch. And I hope I hope people found it useful. Uh, it's been a long time coming to, to do this kind of series. So yeah, uh, this took me about an hour and a half to make. No editing, <laughs> just, just raw recording. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys later.